Josh, pretty much a, a war these last two days against the number one team in the country, as everybody, I'm sure, expected. What's it mean to come out unbeaten and getting three big points in the conference standings? But what did this team really show this weekend, battling back six different times from a one-goal deficit throughout the last two nights? Yeah, it was it was a huge weekend for us, and I think uh, all across the board, everyone's uh, pretty happy with the weekend. You know, I thought yesterday we came out with a bit of a slow start. Like you mentioned, they got ahead a few times, but, you know, we just were resilient all weekend, and we, we kept battling, and, you know, we were positive on the bench, um, and we just kept working together and just keep getting pucks deep and working hard, and just things kept happening for us. What was it like captaining the team this weekend? It was It was fun, actually. I mean, yesterday, I think... Talking to some of the guys was one of the most fun games we've played in in a while. Um, that's just because it was so hard back and forth, and you know we would go down, but we wouldn't quit. We would just keep fighting, and I think uh, that was a lot of the same tonight. You know, I mean, same, pretty much the same result. So overall, it was it was awesome. And what does this weekend say about your team? Um, I think I mean I've said it a few times. Just we're we're we've been resilient all weekend, and I think we've proven um, most importantly to ourselves that. When we play the right way, we can play with anyone. Uh, it seemed as the game progressed, you guys uh, kicked it into an extra gear. You were winning those battles as, compo or as compared to you know them being a contested battle those first, second period. Third period and overtime, you guys were outright winning a lot of those battles in the corner. Uh, what was being said on the bench you know, between you, coaches, players? Uh, what is it like in that style game where you know, every battle for that puck is big and you guys are starting to come away with them and you get those looks and finish them off in overtime? Yeah, well, we, we knew coming into the weekend it was going to be a war. Um, you know, they're a really good team. They're skilled and, and they're hard on pucks. So um, that was actually one of our big focuses was just winning those battles. And like you mentioned, we did a much better job um, towards the end of the game tonight. I thought we did pretty well throughout the weekend, but um, you know, just it just goes to show you just bear down a little extra and good things happen. Josh, obviously senior year, been captain for this season with Grant. Experienced a lot of hockey games, a lot of second halves that didn't go your way. Obviously, it's a long time till the next game that counts in the standings. What has to happen over this next month to make the second half the best one this team's had since you've been here? Um, <clears throat> I think we. What's most important is we just take some time to reflect, you know, on, on uh, the first half. Um, it's nice to get some time off. You know, we've been going right off the start, haven't had any off weekends, so it's going to be nice to just step back a little and uh, think about things. But um, we're still going to practice hard on uh, the next week here, and then. Um, practice hard when we come back. So just enjoying it, um, you know, obviously not getting too high, too low or anything like that, but just focusing on uh, what's been working for us. Because like I mentioned, when we, when we play our game, we can play with anyone. After yesterday's um, shootout loss, what was the mindset going into this game? How are you guys feeling? Um, we felt good. Um, you know, we, coming out of last night, we were, we battled back, obviously. So, uh, Obviously not the end result that we wanted, but it was it was still uh, pretty decent for us. So um, biggest thing for us was our start. Um, I thought we started pretty well tonight, and uh, just like just like I mentioned, you know, continue to play our game the way we know how to play, and um, the more we do that, the obviously better things happen. Just chipping pucks behind them and finishing hits, and just being hard in front of the net. How relieved were you when the refs came out and said that your goal was a good goal? Uh, actually, very relieved. You know. Uh, Coaches talk about all the time, um, stay on side, because you never know if it could result in a goal, and obviously that one did. But my heart kind of dropped a little bit, but uh, <laughs> I was glad to see they uh, called it a goal. So, Scott, lineup shuffles up a little bit going into this weekend. Obviously, you've played with Josh and Gordy a couple of times, came through with a couple of big tying goals, one on Friday and the actual game tying goal tonight. What was working for your line against a team that, can kind of come in waves like St. Cloud. Yeah, I think playing with those two is pretty special. They're very talented players, so I like to feed off them. They have great vision, great playmaking ability. So what I really do is try to feed off them, forecheck for them, be an F1 for them, and really just support their roles because I know they can make plays and I can be on the resulting end of it. So that's what happened this weekend, and it was, it was a good uh, weekend for our line. Traditionally, your team plays better when you score the first goals. That didn't happen this weekend. So what kind of led to you guys battling back and – 
walking away with the results that you did. Josh mentioned it, it's resilience. It was a big word for us coming into this weekend, and I think it really showed what our team has. Uh, going down, we didn't get down on ourselves. We stuck together. The whole bench was positive. We knew we were in these games. So it was huge for us to come back, and we caught our way back in. We never were out of the fight, and it really shows a lot about this group that we've known for a while, but we really showed the country this weekend that we're resilient. I was shooting the game up in the uh, corner with the camera, and it seemed like your guys lying. Every time I was snapping a shot, you were finishing a check on somebody. Is that something coming into a game against a number one team like this that you guys are, are making uh, known, especially later on, that, hey, we've got to get bodies on these guys, force them off the puck, and force them off their game? Yeah, that was a big key coming into this game. Uh, a lot of their skill guys don't like to get hit, so when we come in and force the body checks, it, it really tires them down. It wears them down throughout the game, and that's where we came in stronger in the third periods. I think we won our third periods this weekend, and that was due to those hits, and that was a big part of our game plan coming in, so we executed on that for him. Is it safe to say that your team emptied the tank and is ready for a little bit of a break? Yes, I, I would agree with that. I think we really battled this weekend. It was a battle back and forth every game, every – Every second of the game, like calls, goals were called off, goals were called. So we really stuck to it. It's going to be nice to get a good mental break here, focus on some school, and then come back at it.